Aether in his doubles partner to close out that game. The up smash catching both of them. He could have got punished for that forward smash, and it could have been uh, one stock to one stock, but very nice stuff for him to be patient and really find that opening that he needed uh, and catch him with the up smash. So very nice stuff from Young's. Uh, Young's doing a lot of work in that last game. S1 did SD, I think, two or three times uh, in uh, in total during that match. Uh, but very nice stuff from Young's to be able to uh, carry that 1v2. Uh, and he didn't even lose one of his stocks, so uh, finishing that last one with a two-stock. A uh, very nice turnaround after losing the first match. Uh, very good stuff for them to come back. Uh, and that was even on uh, Orange Juice's counter pick. So the counter pick really working out for them there. Uh, we are going to get this next match shortly uh, once there is a match that is able to be played. Uh, we might have to do another losers match, but I would prefer to uh, get one of these winner matches. We do have a lot of uh, some of the bigger teams uh, still in the winner side. We do have Mintos and West. We have Death Gun and FMU. Or no, Mintos and West got knocked into losers by Death Gun and FMU. Uh, Lazy Boredom still in. Uh, you have Lemon Tree, you have Steel Esports, you have Grubbin and uh, Narukami. Carried Frog and Robot. Are they playing Greninja and Rob? Hobbs, Hobbs and Hobbs and Obby. Greninja and. I like Hobbs. it. Hobbs. Are you Carried Frog and Robot? Nice. Nice. Uh, Green Minato and. Uh, is playing against Cow Hunter and Sharks right now. That's a scary match. Green Monado, it's it's Shock Luigi. I picked up the second game. I mean, so we are hopefully. Uh, you want to commentate? There's not really a match going on, so. Uh, YTYG is in loser side, so if they get if they get yeah if they get knocked out, Dylan will be on here. They did lose to uh, FMU and Deeth Gun though, so well, to be fair, they're uh, yeah they've gotten pretty far. <laughs> Uh, FMU is like number one here, and Death Gun is like top 15 in the state. So, definitely not, you know, the worst loss for them. You killed me! And then you killed me! I did not kill me. I killed you! You killed me! I was holding this. I was holding this. Still no match yet being called onto the stream, uh, so we're going to have to wait here for a little bit longer. Uh, until there is a match that is able to be played on stream. Hopefully it's a winner's side match. Uh, would like to see that bracket a lot more. Uh, but as of right now, I think the matches, is, matches are finishing up. Uh, all right, now we have a match finally called for the stream setup. Is it? Oh, it's attendance policy, yeah. It's attendance policy versus wait, who's Joe? No, it's attendance policy versus this one in Young's. Oh, is it? Oh, okay, they, they won that match. Okay, so we're going to see attendance, or er, S1 and Young's back onto the stream setup. Oh, hey. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah. Attendance policy in Dino versus who is this? Youngs and Youngs and S1. Uh, Youngs and S1 are playing PT and uh, Youngling. Attendance policy is playing Wolf and Lucina. Yeah. Um, Youngs had a really good carry performance. 
I felt bad because your back got hurt, but the overall gag was pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> That's a young yeah. Oh my god, they're gonna be like, oh, you don't like me. Huh? I don't mind. You really like people like, like this, and then like rub it. Because I've, cause I've, I've only done that, I've only ever done that like one other time, and it was very funny, and the other person did that. Come on, trainer. There you go. Alright. I believe we're going to Probably PS1. Stadium. It's always always starting off on stage. Yeah, I don't think we have been started on PS1 yet. Uh, <laughs> it's just a perfect stage. Yeah, it's a perfect it. stage. Nothing wrong with it. I think we're doing a button check. Um, What's going on here? What's going on here? Someone's controller probably isn't working fully. Um, once they get that figured out, though, the match will probably uh, be restarted. Oh wow, that's a that's a really rude tag that Zever has. I wonder who made that. <laughs> Yeah, Zever was going to delete tags, and then he saw that tag and just like just claimed it as his own. Um, but they're going, going to be, in. yeah, going, going to be very annoying okay. to deal with. Uh, this Lucina and this Wolf going, they're going to have like a lot of things that they can like ping pong off of each other. Uh, so if they catch both people in it, it's going to be a very bad time for S1 and Youngs. Oh yeah, but uh, I would say PT is a really good uh, double character because. I think uh, Squirtle is overall super good because he's an extremely safe character, so he can aggress super easily. And uh, okay, well, back here side B and Young's losing his first stock. Yeah, Young's dropping the first stock. We haven't really, we didn't really see that much last time. Young's was really uh, kind of stock, stock tanking, uh, while S1 was kind of going more aggressive and getting punished more for it. And S1 is staying with the Squirtle, not switching. Uh, could be pretty bad for him considering he'll die a lot easier. And Young's just goes straight down with a down air. Not afraid to slam on these boys. And S1 finally switching to the Ivy Sword. Switches to the Ivy Sword. Dino loses a stock to that forward smash. To the fire arrow. Did that take it? it oh, S1 that didn't kill Zever. But Zever not dying. Zever living at a fairly very, high percent. Very high percent. And Zever, Zever is not, he's not a stranger to playing the uh, patient games. So. Yeah, he seems so. to be going in, but if he wants to, he can definitely just fade back out. But that over-aggression is going to cost him an S1 SDs. Yeah, S1 has had a lot of SDs uh, in the last match that we saw him play on stream. Uh, so he's going to have to really clean that up a bit. Um, to really give this team a chance, but it's not looking too good for them right now. They're down oh, two yeah. stocks to four. Two stocks to four. And uh, Zever's at a very low percent. Dino, mid percent. He could. He's, he's still pretty safe right now, but Young's and S1 are definitely racking up some percent, some very unwanted percent. Yeah, both of them are sitting at pretty high. Oh, and S1 loses his stock. That is what you get for staying Squirtle the whole time. Squirtle is the most fun uh, character though, of the thing. Very good F smash there F -smash. off of the grab. Uh, that's the problem really with 1v2s. If you ever get grabbed, then it's pretty much the end of your stock. Uh, especially if you're at a higher percent. If you're at a lower percent, it just means they're going to rack up a lot of damage. Up a lot of damage yeah. um, and then the next grab will probably be it. Dino finally didn't go for something cool and completely miss. He just went for the up smash, which is exactly what he needed. Yeah, it was a very, very good, controlled, I guess, first match for them. Uh, might see a little bit more uh, kind of trying to get those style points, trying to get those yeah. twitch clips uh, from uh, Dino. Uh, like yesterday, remember? He tried going for the K rule setup on, oh, Jared, yeah. <laughs> on Robert and he just missed the F smash. It's such very, a shame. Very unfortunate. He's tried going for that so many times. But they are in losers right now, so they have to play That's probably a little much, bit more reserved. Much more reserved, yes. And S1 and Young's lost the first match in their last game, but they were able to come back. Uh, yeah, they, winning it 2-1, so can't really count them out just yet. I don't yeah. think that they're going to really switch off of these characters. 
uh, but they are going to get a different stage. I haven't really seen much from S1, but Youngs, Youngs is a very, very good player. I've seen, whenever he plays singles, I see, I always see him performing pretty well. But I uh, got to say the same about Dino and Zebra, though. So. Let's see what happens this game, too. They're, it looks like they're deliberating which characters they want to go. Yeah, Youngs looks Young's like he wants for to for the switch. Roy. And, oh, just a complete team switch, Palutena Roy. Yeah, I like this switch from S1 because he was SD'ing a lot on the um, on the Squirtle. He wasn't really switching much, um, and so he was dying at super early percents. Uh, this switch might be what they need. Uh, I don't know if Young switching off of Young Link is necessarily the best for him. Uh, he's playing super well on it. <laughs> Much more even start to game to game two. Uh, if even Green Team actually has a bit of a lead, this Roy switch for Youngs is really paying off. He's aggressing very hard, and he takes that stock wow. from Dino. That's why you don't. That's why you've got to be super mindful of when you get those grabs, and when you do, you have to time it, or else you're going to eat a lot of damage or even get killed for it. Yeah, grabbing and doubles is really only good if you have. Uh, player like advantage, so if someone's off stage, or if you do have one of them already killed. Yeah. Um, otherwise, grabs are super punishable just because it takes a long time to actually get the animation off and then also throw them. Dino went for too many uh, pummels there. Loses what could have been a good edge guard. So back to neutral. Got to see what happens. So Youngs, Youngs is definitely the the big hitter and finally loses that stock. They're gonna have to be super mindful of Young. He's aggressing way more than he did game one, and he's pet. It's paying off. Yeah, the Zephyr is gonna be able to play a little bit more aggressive now. He does have that stock lead, and he's at a super high percent. So I expect we'll see him go off stage a little bit more, um, and really go super deep to confirm some of these kills. But losing the stock here, there finally so. takes that stock, that first stock from Zephyr. Paul's gonna. He's going to be the saving grace for the for blue team right now, but getting a little bit of percent. Yeah, Young's in S1 kind of getting up to a fairly high percent. Uh, Dino up to a fairly high percent as well, uh, but Zever still fairly low percent on the second stock. Uh, so doing a really good job at kind of miti mitigating the damage that he's taking. Yeah, Zever's playing much more reserved than last game, but kept his jump. That's good. And Dino misses a punish there, went for the jab. He definitely could have gotten something something more effective there. But oh. the dash attack, gonna team kill and take a stock from Youngs. Now you see that's a bit of a double-edged sword there because Youngs has definitely been the damage dealer of this of this game too. So yeah, and Zebra Dino's definitely sitting gonna kind have of, to be mindful. Yeah, Zebra's sitting kind of healthy on the second stock. So if he sits like healthy like this, then taking that stock really isn't a problem. Yeah. Because uh, he will have that other stock for D uh, Dino to take. Uh, whereas S1 is sitting really high percent on that second stock. Yeah. S1 could die to anything right now, and they're gonna and they've gotta hope, they've gotta really hope that they can catch him with something. Young's is also at a reasonably high percent right now. Um, 72%, not super low, but he's definitely in a bit of a danger zone, but that F smash going to take the stock from Dino. And we are going to see the uh, stock taken from Dino off of Zebor. Uh, we'll see if it makes a big difference, if they can get this kill onto the Palutena yeah, shortly. At 162, up throw might take it. No, no, 172%, still, still on that stock. Youngs, they're going to... I think another big thing is taking the stock from Youngs. He's uh, at a very high percent, and um, if if they can take the stock from Youngs, I think I think Palu would be much easier to handle in the two v one, considering how Roy can aggress so so safe. Oh, and Zephyr dying. Zephyr yeah, Youngs also there. dying. Dino's gonna have to take this two v one. It's gonna be very hard, especially with how much Roy can aggress. Sixty eight percent on him already. Yeah, and, and that all S1 ooh, has misses to really up do. the back air. Oh wow. wow, very nice stuff from Dino. S1, all he had to really do was kind of sit back and let Youngs do what, uh, get all the damage. Um, while S1 provided a little bit of zoning, uh, but S1 ooh, but the holding that hole. Dash can't go back or er, F tilt is gonna take that game. 
So Young's and S1 kind of coming back in that one a little bit. Um, the Palutena held on to that second stock for so long uh, and didn't die. Uh, and Zevor and um, Zevor and uh, Young's dying at the same time, but Young er, S1 did have that extra stock, uh, so it put Dino in a really tough position. He did find the kill on the Palutena, but at that point he was already in kill percent for Roy. Uh, so very, very good decision to take that second stock. Uh -huh. right, so game three, I doubt, I doubt anyone's going to be switching characters unless Dino is really dumb and switches to K rule. Um, I, I really don't think there's anyone they can switch to. What are they doing? to Omega Coliseum. Omega Coliseum. Now, Roy? Yeah, Paul definitely picked the stage. I don't think Roy benefits too much from, uh, from FD. Like, he can, he can catch landings a lot more, but I think Roy benefits significantly more from the platform pressure that he applies with his up air. So this is definitely a good counter pick to kind of mitigate Roy's juggling pressure. Yeah, Roy does have a lot of options that he can use to hit you on those platforms, but <coughs> so does Lucino. Roy's just hit a lot harder. But Young is still doing a ton with this aggression. Misses the forward air, but... He's still able to get some damage off that chunky Oh wow, going to close that stock out on Zever very, very yeah. well. Yeah, if you do if you do the side B on that deck, pretty much guarantees that super beefy sweet spot for Roy. Yeah, and Young's doing a lot on this Roy, uh, so the switch was probably worth it. Um, and that forward smash going to catch Zever, or Zever going for a grab, and Dino just gonna die for no reason off the side. Yeah, I don't uh, know I why he went, why he didn't go for a side B. That definitely would have recovered. Uh, oh, but the back air, fantastic back conversion. Air on S1, and Young's at a high percent, so Dino and Zevor really aren't out of this just yet. Uh, if they can get this kill onto Young's fairly quickly, uh, then they'll be sitting at a pretty good spot. But Zevor is taking a lot of damage. Ooh, goes for the wrong punish there on the parry, and uh, they missed the opportunity to get some damage off of that. Uh, off of Palutena being off stage, they definitely could have done more with the 2v1 on on Young's while Palutena was preoccupied with covering. Yeah, and that back throw, oh, back going throw, to gonna take the stock from Young's final, but he's gonna lose that stock to the grab. You know, needs to stop grabbing in neutral in these 2v2. Yeah, both of these players on blue side are grabbing a lot in neutral and getting punished for it. Oh yeah. But Dino's, Dino's definitely up getting the short end of the stick with that super meaty, hunky forward smash from Roy. One of the strongest. Alright, so... Two stocks to four right now. Uh, S1 and Young are at, a low, are at a pretty high percent right now. They can definitely... Definitely not out of the woods yet. So, yeah, but as this percent starts to rack up, Dino are already at 61, 73 now. Uh, it becomes a lot harder, so they really need to find these kills. Ooh, Young's barely living that. They've got to figure out some way to kill, or else it might just be lost for them. The very good upbeat back on the stage from S1. He's going to take a punish for that. Very risky nair there from Dino, but it definitely would have paid off. Uh, Roy is quite susceptible to gimps. He has a very linear recovery, can't really do much with it. But that F tilt is going to take the stock from Young's finally. Both Dino and Zever are pretty much at kill percent, so they're going to have to be very careful with how they're going to handle this next stock. Yeah, and S1's still at three stocks, or two stocks. Uh, so, as soon as Dino or Zever dies, it's going to be very hard for them to really come back. S1 finally dropping that second stock. Uh, but things looking very good for them, uh, and it's pretty much over now. Once they get a grab, and once they get a multi hit. That F-Tilt's going to take that, that game. Young's an S1.
going further in the loser's bracket while unfortunately Dino and Zedrick 